patre mae iaith diwrnod pethwar. Yn es môn un, mynediad. Day four language patterns. Your day on Yn es môn uses units 9 to 15 of the mynediad course. Here's a quick review of the main grammar points and patterns from the units. Rhydd un, cyfri yn Gymraeg, counting in Welsh. There are different ways of using numbers depending on whether the word you are using is singular or plural. If the word is plural, for example, corn, dogs, cathod, cats, then you use the following. Number plus or plus plural form with soft mutation. For example, tree or gun, three dogs. Petwar or gathod, four cats. If the word is singular, then it is a little more difficult because you need to know if the noun is masculine or feminine. For example, key masculine, cath, feminine. Then you use the following. For example, un ki, dai gi, tri chi, petwar ki, pim ki, chwe chi, un gath, Doi gath, tair cath, petair cath, pim cath, chwe cath. You haven't yet met an aspirate mutation. T, th, p, f, k, ch. But the concept is explained in Unit 12. Rhydd dai, roedd, was. So far there have been two different ways of expressing things in the past. Using gwneud, to do. Mi wnes i weld, I did see. Mi wnes i gerdded, I did walk. Mi wnes i ddarllen, I did read. Using mind, to go. Mi esi i gastell Conway. I went to Conway Castle. Mi esi i Blas Mawr. I went to Plas Mawr. Mi esi i Dreyfynon. I went to Hollywell. Roedd is the verb board, to be, in the imperfect tense. One way to remember this tense is to think of a dinosaur roaring. Dinosaurs lived during a period of time in the past which is now finished. If a sentence in English would make sense with the words was or were to describe something that has happened in the past which is now finished, or something you used to do, then you probably want to use roid. Roid. Statement. Doith, negative. Oith, question. Roith o ni yn y castell. I was in the castle. Doith o ni ddim yn y castell. I wasn't in the castle. Oith e ti yn y castell. Were you in the castle? You might also hear this shortened version. Rho ni yn y castell. I was in the castle. Roedd o ni. Rho ni. Doedd o ni ddim. Do ni ddim. Oedd o ni. O ni. O'n. Nac o'n. Roedd e ti. Doedd e ti ddim. Oedd e ti? Oedd et? Nac oedd et. 
roedd o. Roedd hi. Doedd o ddim. Doedd hi ddim. Oedd o. Oedd hi. Oedd. Nac oedd. Roedd Edward. Roedd y plant. Doedd Edward ddim. Doedd y plant ddim. Oedd Edward. Oedd y plant. Oedd. Nac oedd. Oedd en. Nac oedd en. Roedd en ni. Doedd en ni ddim. Oedd en ni. Oedd en. Nac oedd en. Roedd e chi. Doedd e chi ddim. Oedd e chi. Oedd e ch. Nac oedd e ch. Roedd e nhw. Doedd e nhw ddim. Oedd e nhw. Oedd e n. Nac oedd e n. Rhif tri. Wedi. Have done. When you want to talk about something you have done in the past, the word wedi is very useful. When placed in the pattern of board, in the present tense, you can easily talk to someone about something you have done. Dwi wedi cloi'r drws. I have locked the door. Dwi wedi bwyta popeth. I have eaten everything. Dwi wedi gwneud y llestri. I have done the dishes. Rhif pedwar. Which pattern do I use in the past tense? Having learnt different ways of talking about things that happened in the past, there is sometimes a confusion about which pattern is best to use. At this stage, it's really key to be clear about what you are trying to say in English. Are you talking about doing, going, being in the past, or having done something? Think about talking about a visit to a castle last Saturday. Mi es i i gastell Conwy dydd Saturn diwetha. I went to Conwy Castle last Saturday. Mi wnes i fwynhau am wel da chastell Conwy. I did enjoy visiting Conwy Castle. Roedd o'n un am wel da chastell Conwy dydd Saturn diwetha. I was visiting Conwy Castle last Saturday. Dwi wedi gweld Castell Conwy. I have seen Conwy Castle. It's a good exercise of thinking about different ways of expressing the same information to practice these patterns. When that is mastered, you can then focus on the use of un in the sentences and where mutations come. Being able to do this is a major step forwards towards a full understanding of the Welsh language, so don't worry if it takes a bit of time.